right, this is the, um, all right, this is the, uh, the last wash right here. What's ironic about it is this is the place, when I did that video about um, when I had my window open, <laughs> I was like, these idiots didn't put water in my window. This is the same place. So they were the first one to wash it and they were the last one to wash it. But I guarantee you, the window, a hole, I ain't do that in the that's, that's like a lifelong mental thing. I'll never do that again. Yeah, man, get it nice and clean, bring it up to them, just like I bought it. The inside is immaculate, so it's going to look, the only thing different is going to be that I put 130,000 miles. Alright, I'm probably going to go and let them do their job. Man, it's clean. I know you can't really see it too much because it's dark outside. I got some uh, some armor oil, and I'm just gonna kind of do the tires because. It's got it, right? Might as well get rid of this stuff. I'm gonna go in, man. It's gonna be glistening. And hopefully this makes the, uh, the inspection, maybe they'll be like, you know, don't look at it too hard, but there's nothing wrong with this truck. If you get this truck, the next guy who gets this truck, the next guy who gets this truck, you get in a good truck. So, come to Schneider Finance now. Tell them you want the Kenworth T680 out of Green Bay. Oh, shoot, I'm messing up my chrome. You want the Kenworth T680 out of Green Bay for, uh, that with 131,000 miles or so. Now get you hooked up. My wheels are not as good as it was the last time I got washed. I think the best blue beacon that I have been to is the one in Horse Cave, Kentucky. I think it's Horse Cave on I-65 around exit 69, somewhere around there. And uh, they were the best one I ever went to. And if you ever want a tip on, well, you guys know this, you want the best wash Drop your trailer. There's usually a truck stop right there. Drop your trailer and, and bobtail it. You'll get a better wash, especially in the back. You know, it, it's only gonna take, well, who knows, it'll take hours. Because them lines be long. I like coming at night to wash my truck. I don't like messing with them daytime out. But anyway, that's it, man. I'm gonna do the rest of these tires and then I'm out. I'll see y'all. Next video will probably be when I'm there. Hey, I just pulled up at uh, Green Bay and uh, all the trucks. That's not all of them, but. But it is time to clean up the rest of this stuff right here. And say goodbye to this truck, man. This truck's been real good to me. So I'm gonna. Um, See who I need to talk to. And um, I got a car reserved. They was gonna give me a bus ticket to come home. But from Green Bay to like the Louisville, it's like 10 hours. And a bus drive, <laughs> that's probably like 20 hours. I, I ain't doing all that. You know, going through Milwaukee, probably gotta stop there, Chicago, Gary, probably gotta stop everywhere. So, um, yeah, I just go ahead and took the, the bullet, rent the car, and just get home quick. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get the rest of my stuff. All I got is a little knapsack, man. That's it. I'll try to pack light. There's the uh, back of the truck. See, it's nice and clean. Oh, yeah, let me show you the outside. Oh. So 
that's the outside. Looking cleaner than the other parts. One thing is I got some bugs on it now, but it's mint. Now, this is the only thing wrong with the truck right here. These panels on these uh, T680s just blow off, man. And mine was about to blow off, so I just put a couple of little tiny nuts to screw them in. Other people use different things, come up with, I don't know, little different inventions, but if, if this starts to come off and you don't secure it, you'll get out the truck and it's gone. If you ever see like T680s, look at them driving down the road. <laughs> a lot of them have this missing. So they're gonna get me for this. But the only thing ruined is this, this piece of plastic panel, but who knows how much that costs, because I didn't screw these into the actual snap parts where, they, where I think they snap in. So um, they just need the back. I don't even know how this thing works, but terrible design right here. This is the only thing that sucks, and they know this is messed up. So they need to get this fixed on a recall or something. Anyway, so that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff out and see who I need to talk to. But yeah, this is it, man. It's the last time. It's the last time saying goodbye. This is exactly where I picked it up when I came in. See right there where that truck is? That's exactly where my truck was sitting when I came in on the big orange bus. And I didn't know it was my truck at the time. But when they gave us the truck, that's exactly where my truck was in front of the shop. If you remember, I had no, I didn't even have writing on my truck yet. So, uh, all right, let me get out of here. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right, there it is. Peace out. I'm going to miss it, but you know what? It was never my truck. It was always their truck. Just like all of these. I was just paying for it. It's the only difference. I was just making the payments for it. And using it. But uh, it did feel nice. It felt great. This is the, uh, the orange school bus where they pick up all the new people that's going to pay for a truck. But uh, yeah, I'm going to miss it, man. It's windy, so I don't know how well you're doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang up. I'm gonna go inside. This is the entrance, and I'm gonna see. Hook up with my SFI rep, see what she wants me to do, and then I guess she'll take me to the shop or something. I don't know. See? They say I'm, I'm too early and they only have was a Ford Escape. If I got the Ford Escape, they was gonna charge me an extra $30. Nah, I'll wait. <laughs> so when I, <laughs> 3.30 comes, they offer me the Ford Escape anyway. They just trying to get rid of that Ford Escape. I have a Ford Escape, it's more comfortable for $30? No, I don't want that. So I guess I'm waiting on the car that just got back. So I'm at the airport terminal and they're like, wait out here, somebody's gonna bring it to you. I never had that. They used to get the keys to me. You know how you get the keys and you go to the parking lot and get it. See the rental car lot's over there. So I guess it just got back. You know, maybe they cleaned it up or something. But this is looks pretty good oh man it's just god damn it oh, oh look at that little electric seat in this little thing all right so i'm headed home i'm tired it was real it was fun but it ain't real fun all right it's time to go so let me do some driving i'm gonna set this gps up and get the hell out of here man
So I finally Turn got the car and I'm head. heading home and I'm like, I forgot the easy pass. I took it out of the truck because I thought I was going to actually hand it to somebody because it was like, you got to bring the easy pass and all that stuff. So I was like, I thought I got to hand it to somebody, but no, nah, there was nobody handed it. We wanted me to leave everything in the truck. So, oh shit, I'm in the wrong goddamn lane. I've been making all kinds of um, bad turns because I think I'm used to following the way Jill looks. And now that I'm using my own GPS, which I always had in the truck anyway, I'm messing it up. I'm just turning wrong. I, 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 the way it looks, it just looks funny. <laughs> it's just weird. This is like the third missed turn I did just to try to get back to the yard. Now, so I'm going to go ahead and just plug this in and be done with it. Back in this joint. Let's see, yeah. I was worried. I was worried about taking that with me because I'm gonna go through the uh, turnpike and stuff. And even if it was in my bags and I had it like tucked away, it was gonna charge that. Then they wind up charging me. So glad I got it back. I was like, I'm gonna mail it, but I was like, oh no, it's gonna charge tolls. But there it is. It's back in the truck. Okay, I apologize. That's all I have for you with the vlog. I'm putting it together, but there will be a part two on the damages that I had to pay to return that truck because returning that truck is not free. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. EMIP TV's out.